Hi guys, it's Erica, and welcome to Q&A Wednesday about chair, chair yoga with Erica. So I love it when people ask me questions about yoga specifically, because I am here to answer those questions. And I feel like whatever circumstance we're in, when we are armed with knowledge, then we can go in with an awareness that makes the experience more beneficial to us, no matter what that situation is. So today I'm going to be talking about yoga props. Now you can see by behind me. I have my chair that I use for chair yoga and it's a simple folding chair. The big deal is is that it doesn't have arms on it. It has a nice space and then all the legs are even and stable so that when you're sitting on the chair you feel nice and comfortable and supported. But there are other props that we can bring in to not only support our practice but to also enhance our practice. So I'm going to go over a few of those things today. So the first one that comes to mind for me is a yoga block. And everyone's heard of a yoga block, right? So here's a yoga block. It has a low end, then it has a medium end, and then it has a high end when you put it this way. And then it also has a narrow width as well as its wide width, depending on how you're using the block. And the yoga block's really great because it can be used to help create awareness for the body. So sometimes I like to place this between the knees to create stability in the hips and the upper legs. Sometimes I like to use it to place it in between the hands so we can work on some upper body shoulder awareness. And sometimes we can also place the block on the floor to put our feet on it. And we can do that just to have contact with the floor or we can actually work through the feet, through the ankles, and practice some balance awareness with the block as well too. So this is a great tool to have, yoga block. And I would recommend two, especially if we're gonna be placing them under the feet or using them in unison with one another. All right, so another thing that's pretty common to a yoga practice is a yoga blanket. So this is just a good old yoga blanket. This is made of wool, so it creates like a stiffness and it creates support too. And you can see this one's tri-folded and there's many ways that you can fold a yoga blanket. It depends if you're using it for support or for cushion. And I'll probably go over that on a later video, but one to three yoga blankets can be fantastic. One of the best ways you see it used is this rounded edge is a way that you can support your head and your neck. And another way, a lot of people use them during relaxation, cover themselves up so they stay warm. And once again, it can be supported under the feet. It can be supported under the bottom. Lots of things you can do with a yoga blanket. So this is definitely a good thing to have. Another not so common prop that I love to use during my chair yoga practice is a good old bungee cord. Yay, bungee cord. So bungee cord, I prefer a bungee cord over a yoga strap because a yoga strap is more like a belt. It doesn't have any give to it. It's just sort of there, right? And I think of a yoga strap as a way to extend your arm so that you can make a posture more possible if it has to do with flexibility. You can also use a yoga strap to create resistance if you need to, depending what the posture is. But I really like a bungee strap because it gives you both. I mean, you have both. So you have elasticity, so you can use it to build strength, but it also has lots of length to it so that, you know, if you can't quite get into that forward fold to grab your toes, the yoga strap, bungee strap can help to make that possible. So this is great. It's a good tool to use for a range of motion of your hips, range of motion for your shoulders, and it's a good place to bring some flexibility as well as strength into your practice. So highly, highly recommend a bungee strap and a rather long one too. So if you can see on this one, essentially it's going from hand <laughs> to hand all the way across. So I can really use that strap in different ways. So bungee strap. This is something you can get at your local PT office or it's something you can get online as well. Another thing that I use in my chair yoga practice is yes, a yoga mat. So there are all kinds of yoga mats. And honestly, you can go spend a ridiculous amount of money on a yoga mat, or you can spend a more reasonable amount of money on a yoga mat, depending on what you need it for. So I would recommend a yoga mat that's not overly cushy, but that has some stickiness to it. So I like to place my yoga mat onto my chair because eventually, 
we do standing postures with our chair for support. And I think it's just nice to get into the practice of being familiar with the space of a yoga mat and understanding how to build a posture on it. So I have two yoga mats here. As you can see, this yoga mat is quite a bit thin. If you look at it there, this is a thinner yoga mat. This is like my traveling yoga mat. This one was purchased from Lululemon. I've had it for a really long time. Very, very happy with it. Recently, I purchased another yoga mat. And as you can see, this one, well, one, it's bigger, but two, it's significantly thicker as well, right? It's a lot thicker. So this yoga mat is pretty sticky too on the surface. And the one thing that's nice about this yoga mat, if you know that you are a sweater, which I am, it really helps with uh, stickiness so that you really adhere to the mat even when your feet and your palms might get sweaty from your practice. And another reason why I purchased this mat is because it's a little more thick to support my joints since I'm dealing with some issues of arthritis in my big toes. So, and this is a Manduka mat, but you can go to your local sporting goods store, you can go online. One of the places that I really like to shop for my yoga props, props is called sunshineyoga.com, sunshineyoga.com. And it's actually where I purchased my blocks and my blankets. And so, I mean, there's a lot of options and um, lots of options out there for you, just depending on how much money you're wanting to spend at this point in time and what you're really gonna be using your props for, right? So I would definitely invest in a great chair. I would definitely invest in some great blankets, but the yoga blocks and the yoga mats, that's kind of up to you and what you think you'll be using them for. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. And just know that having extra props, they're just there to support you in your practice and make more things possible. I also like to think of it as just keeping things spicy and keeping things creative so that you enjoy coming back to your practice. So I hope that was really helpful. Hope you gained some insights. And just know I am always here. So whatever your questions may be for a yoga practice or your chair yoga practice, just let me know. Drop me a question and I'll definitely make sure that those things get answered to the best of my ability. All right, hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>